Hello, doctors. Uh, so, you know, we're not going to waste any time. We just, you have not much time for revision. So only the image-based uh, questions, you know, which can be asked in your exam. We're going to revise only the important images in microbiology, okay? So let's start. So the first one, uh, these, we are going to see the shapes. We are going to see different shapes of the viruses, okay? So let's start with the uh, each one. The first one, the first one, what you're seeing is what? It looks like a bullet, right? So it's a bullet-shaped virus. So which is a bullet-shaped virus? Bullet-shaped virus is your rabies, rabies virus, yeah? The rabies, rabies ko, rabies ko bullet se mar or imagine like that, okay? So bullet-shaped. Number two, this one, what is, how does it look? It looks like a brick, no? It looks like a brick. So brick means I told you, huh? brick, brick, bada, brick, is hota bada virus, bada, brick. It's a pox virus, pox virus, okay? Pox virus, okay? Pox virus will be brick-shaped. Okay, this image can come, you can have a bit Look at this. This is a space vehicle. Space vehicle, I, I was repeating many times. Whenever you have a space vehicle, kiske pas pas a space vehicle? Who is this rich fellow? Mr. Adnan Swami, our singer Adnan Swami. That means it is adenovirus. Okay, adenovirus, the virus which is making the vaccine. Adnan Swami, both richer, so he is uh, used as a vector for making the vaccine. Okay, adenovirus. And this is the virus which causes in children what? Everything. All respiratory infection, they have pharyngitis, they have rhinitis. These days, the eye flow, conjunctivitis, we are saying well, that is also because of adenovirus so common even diarrhea all the combination will be adenovirus so it, adenon helps the children and he makes vaccine and he has a space vehicle okay adnan swami adenovirus okay got it now fourth one this virus when you get image a picture like this this is looking like a cartwheel no it's like a wheel cartwheel any wheel shaped or cart or whatever any cartwheel any wheel wheel shaped which is the virus if they ask you're going to say rotavirus and rotavirus, you know, it is the most common virus that is causing diarrhea in children. Okay. So that's one question. Okay. Wheel shaped is rota. Okay. Wheel, rota. Rota. Wheel se kya karogi? Gaadi ko rotate karogi. Na? Okay. Remember like that. Fifth one. Look at this. This looking like a stars, you know. Asman ka star hai na? It looks like a star. Stars. Full of stars. So star shaped appearance. Naam mein hai. Star is astro. This question is less asked, but you never know, right? Never know. So remember astro virus. Okay. Astro virus star. And this can be asked. Look at this question, this this uh, picture. It looks like a filamentous, no? Filamentous, like a, some worm or a snake like that. It's filamentous. So filament means A, B, C, D, E and F. E ke baat F aata hai. So Ebola virus, okay? Ebola virus, E and F. Very easy. I'm making everything easy for you. You'll not forget, okay? Uh, Ebola virus, okay? That's it. That's it. Okay, now we're going to next question. Now look at this. This all three are same. This all three viruses are same viruses only. This all three viruses are same virus. What it is that if all three are same, then what it, it looks same, no? Look at this. Virus, virus cooper, you're seeing like a petal. You know, these are called peplomers. What are we seeing? This red, red, na? they're called like a peplomers. They say, say, na? peplomers, na? petal or peplomers. So petal or peplomers, uh, flower petal appearance, you know, flower petal appearance, petal appearance or floral petal appearance, anything. Petal just a flower petal appearance. So what is the virus? Uh, what you will do, you will put petal of flowers in the dead COVID patient. And uh, when the patient is COVID my patient died, so what to uh, to their uh, cemetery, what did you, you put at the flowers, right? So you put it, which flower? You put at the petal. So petal shaped. Petal shaped means it is for COVID. COVID virus. So this is a COVID virus. So when you get a picture like this, any picture, it can be this picture, this picture, this picture, that is COVID virus. Okay, that's it. For virus, different shapes. Now look at this. What is this picture? What is this picture? I'm sure you must be remembering. Uh, what is this picture? This is the, my, this is a, uh, the, by seeing the picture, what you will say? See, you see the cells now? Like many cells to fuse together. Multi, multi nucleated giant cells. Okay, shortly I write MN. GC, you call this MNGC, multinucleated giant cells. Okay, MNGC or multinucleated giant cells. So, uh, if you I write it here, multinucleated, you guys know that I'm just simply writing in case someone has a problem, you know, the last moment revision, quick revision. So, I wanted you guys never make mistake in the pictures just came. You will really you'll look, uh, do it good. One. Okay, so whenever MNGC manager comes, you know, this is which smear is a sang smear. We call it as sang smear. This is called sang smear. Usually from the vesicles of the, uh, whatever the, which are the infections when you're talking about MNGC, whenever you're talking about MNGC, you're talking about the, which infections usually we are talking, we're talking about herpes, that is the HSV 1 and 2, and we're talking about varicella zoster virus, varicella zoster, these three virus, whenever they have a vesicular lesion, you're taking smear, deep smear from the bottom of the lesion and then we are doing a gymsa stain and we are finding mng so if you get mngc means it could be herpes or varicella zoster okay hsv one or two and anything it can be so that's a question okay finding now what is this appearance this is a chicken pox okay this is a chicken pox chicken pox ka, if it's a big we call this pleomorphic crash pleomorphic crash yeah pleomorphic crash pleomorphic means 
pleo means you know pleomorphic means there are different type of rashes you can see you know papule macule vesicle multiple rashes so that's a chicken pox now that's one picture this picture is very important it's been asked many times this mngc also asked many times this also asked in many of your fmg and uh, neat exams so you see the rashes along the dermatome dermatome you know unilateral so only one side you know unilateral painful 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 vesicle blisters you know comes that is your what that is your that is your shingles shingles means is the it's a secondary activation of chickenpox both the chickenpox shingles they're caused by which virus you know zoster you know varicella zoster virus so these things come you be careful this is the varicella zoster virus that is also hsv3 we call that they'll not ask you remember only varicella zoster okay shingles or in option if you just give only zoster that's also fine Zoster also fine, okay, but this also zoster, but this is chicken pox, first taking children, adult mate is called shingles, okay, so remember, okay, unilateral painful, and you give GABA painful, a pre gabalin for the painkiller, okay, I'm leaving that, so if you, when you get which, which of the viruses causing this facial paralysis means, just in by your picture, so when, this is nothing, if you have facial paralysis, that is called ramsay Hunt syndrome, ramsay Hunt syndrome, the causative, which is the virus causing the Ramsey hand, Ram, Ram, what? Ram, Ram, got what? Ram, got varicella zoster virus. Varicella zoster virus, okay? Varicella zoster virus, okay? We uh, usually what happen, uh, we call Ammai. In Tamil, they call Ammai. Ammai means it's a god only. So Ram is a god, Ammai is a god only, okay? It's a god name only. So however you want to remember, Ramsey hand means varicella zoster virus. That is your facial paralysis. You have facial paralysis, facial paralysis, okay? Paralysis. And uh, one more thing is that that is geniculate ganglion. Geniculate ganglion. Geniculate ganglion is affected. Geniculate ganglion. Genie, okay? Ram has a genie. Ram has a genie and he got a facial paralysis. Remember like that. Okay, that's it. Next question. Now this one. Now what is this? This this one, the first picture must be very familiar. It's also in medicine also. They must have taught you many times. Uh, what is that? Which cell is that? That is the, that is Reed Steinberg cell. That is called the Reed Steinberg cell. This is Reed Steinberg reed steinberg cell and you know where it is it is it is it is seen in which lymphoma hodgkins hodgkins see this is a b cell you know uh hodgkin lymphoma hodgkin lymphoma all these lymphomas which is caused by which one epstein bar virus ebv virus epstein bar virus okay epstein bar virus if you remember so you have lymphomas different lymphoma carcinomas so this is this uh, this is a b cell you have many nucleus b cells with many nucleus okay epstein bar virus is b affected cell also b b cell okay that's the thing so reed and book hodgkin lymphoma i'm not going deep only one thing in epstein bar virus i want to remember is paul bunnell test don't forget paul bunnell test. that is statistically positive for medicine. and what is this going this was asked in your uh pre previous FMG exam. Uh, this was what? This is oral leukoplakia. Harry leukoplakia. Harry. Harry leukoplakia. Harry leukoplakia. This question can be asked. This is also caused by Epstein-Barr virus. If you remember, we Paul, Paul Walker ka I told. Paul Walker ka kya hai? He's very hairy. He's a sexy man. Harry. So he kisses the girl and he gets a kissing disease. Kissing disease otherwise called infectious mononucleosis. Okay. So these are the things for the EBV. In EBV, these are the two pictures expected. Okay. Yes, got it. So I'm I'm going to the next one now. So the next one is you know that you're seeing what what picture you're seeing down there. Which picture is that? That is your this one is your what owl eye body. Very right. Your, your answer is right. It's owl eye. It looks like an owl eye inclusion bodies. Owl eye inclusion body. Owl eye body are right. It's better. Owl eye inclusion bodies. So yeah, I, I told who is having owl at Garth. Is ke pas owl hota hai? Chief Minister ke pas. CMV. Cytomegalovirus. CMV. CMV as a cytomegalovirus. This question asked many, many times. So you will not make mistake in that. CMV means that's one thing. And CMV is the most common cause of, you know, retinitis in, in HIV patient. Most common cause of HIV retinitis. Retinitis ka most common cause. That was one question frequently asked. You should know that. Okay. So CMV is over. Now, next question. Next question. But I, I think you already made a guess. That is the plantar what? You know, plantar what? So what is the, which is the virus that causing this plantar what? Uh, which is the one that is causing this plantar what? Any idea? It's your HPV. Very good. It's your human papilloma virus. Human papilloma virus. It can be one to four. Anything can cause. Usually it's three plantar plano uh, varicosa. And, uh, any watch generally we say. But uh, yeah, if, if they go what? Don't make mistake. Watch means papilloma virus. HPV virus. Okay. And see this one. This is the condyloma acuminata. We call it as condyloma acuminata. Condyloma acuminata. Either this is a genital. It's in the genital. Uh, it's in the penis. But it can be also in the anal. So condyloma lata. So these two condyloma lata and uh, anal ward and laryngeal papilloma, they are specially caused by HPV 
you know that one hpv 6 and 11 6 and 11 okay that is very important okay please remember okay this can be asked 6 and 11 okay but usually human papilloma virus that you remember okay don't make mistake in that okay this cauliflower appearance cauliflower appearance okay hpv 6 and 11 or laryngeal papilloma also it's caused by hpv 6 and 11 okay these are the pictures now next this one also the repeated question this first picture is repeated question so you're going to answer me now what is this one this is the I always say what it looks like a umbilicated lesion. Umbilicated lesion with cheesy material, you know? umbilicated cheesy material. That is basically a pox virus. Pox virus. I always say that pox is a big box. This is the biggest virus, right? This is the biggest virus. And uh, the most important thing is what I told Henderson Peterson about HP body, but Henderson Peterson, Henderson Peterson. I told Peter Parker, the Spider Man, Peter Parker, na, Peterson body. Peter is a Spider Man. Uska umbilicus se kya tha? Ek Spider Man to that that material, that web like material will come, no? Umbilicus se. So that material. The cheesy material, okay. Umbilicus is cheesy. Anything is a cheesy material from umbilical relation. That's a pox virus, okay. Which we call molascum contagiosum. We call it as molascum contagiosum, okay. Contagiosum, contagiosum, pox, pox, pox. Okay, this is a pox. Henderson Peterson, pox. Okay, that's it. So, this is for your pox virus. Now, next virus. This virus, you know, you must be thorough by this time. With this is that is what a slap cheek appearance. Who slaps? Which is the girl who doesn't have any this thing? That is our choti pari, okay? Parvo virus, okay? Parvo virus, choti pari. We always consider the small. Pox is the biggest virus and parvo is the smallest virus. Yeah, if you remember, that is one question they can ask. But usually they give this, if this is called slapped cheek appearance. The baby is having a slapped cheek, na? Slapped cheek appearance. Uh, how to remember? Uska kaise maate pari sab sabse choti hai. She is a single. She is single. That's what it's the only, it's a single standard DNA. It's the only single standard DNA. That's what, you know, she is single. Pari is a single, uska vajay se frustrated hai, choti hai, that's what she is single, wo frustrated hai, wo bachche ko paan chungguli se maar dhati, that means fifth day disease. It's also called fifth day disease, or slap cheek appearance, fifth day disease, and because five hai na, five hai, five, so it's also called, uh, uh, what do you call it as, Eryth erythema infectiosum, okay, erythema infectiosum, erythema infectiosum. Yo sum erythema infectiosum. Okay, please remember have infectiosum will come. Okay, so this can be another question. Okay, so don't forget. Yeah, and same question there can be eczema subitum also. Eczema subitum is another kind roseola infantum we call. In that, that will be the different case. That the baby will be like you know, thoda erythema rashes type, different body fully rashes will be there. But usually expect this question. So, what about this baby? This baby is okay, you know, it's a hydrophytalis. But if it is immune, means that is rheumatoid, uh, it can be uh, your RH incompatibility, right? You know that when immunogenic erythroblastus fetalis. But non-immunogenic, if they ask which is the virus, that also parvo virus. Because pari choti hai. So everything in her life is bad. She gets slapped, she beats the children, frustrated. And then also her own bache when she gets married and have a baby. She's single now. When she gets married and she's a baby, poor her, she's getting up uh, got you're getting uh, uh, non-immunogenic uh, hydrops fetalis and also aplastic anemia. Don't forget, she's getting aplastic anemia also. Aplastic anemia also is caused by your parvo. Choti pari has a lot of sad stories that you remember. Okay, fine. Right? Now look here. In uh, this is now this is a radiology, but still related to infection. Here you can see this sign. This is called what? Steeple sign. Yeah, this is called steeple sign. So steeple sign. Who's causing the steeple? Uh, I, I think you guys already know. Steeple means it's like a church or steeple, whatever. It's like a church sign or chief. Church, you know, church cross sign, a steeple, whatever it is. Steeple means it is paramyxa virus, para uh, influenza. I mean, it comes under paramyxa, but the exact virus is para influenza. Otherwise, it's called croup. You know, croup. C or O U P. You call croup. Okay. The which is cause what? Lar uh, acute laryngeal tracheal bronchitis. Okay, acute laryngeal tracheal bronchitis. Huh? But the positive agent is parvovirus of croup, which is causing croup. Okay, steeple sign. This is a question. The image basis means this you can ask. Okay, it looks like a steeple only. Okay, church steeple. Okay, next. Now the next question is. Uh, this one. Next question is now. Look at this baby. Now, by seeing this baby only, I'm sure you uh, you will be knowing the uh, thing. This is what this is parotid swelling. So bilateral parotid swelling. Bilateral parotid swelling means you know parotid swelling means what it is. That is your mumps. I told you always. What you know, mump means jerry, jerry, jerry because jerry is stain. Jerry ka sab kuch bada hai, hai na? Jerry. Also, what he has unilateral. Yeah, arch, uh, uh, architis, okay. I mean, testis swelling, or uh, unilateral one side testis swelling, also common. So, this is very catastrophic for mumps disease, okay. Mumps, mumps ka incubation period, you know, it is 19 days, yeah, because measles ka hota hai, how much is measles ka 14 days, and MMR, mumps ka hota hai 19 days. 
rubella ka it is sorry measles ka 10 days mumps ka 19 days rubella it is 14 days okay this is the order so they can ask anything measles is a standard first wala 10 then mumps ka 19 arthro this is the uh, in uh, incubation period they can ask okay so remember okay this is the parotid swelling bilateral parotid swelling means mumps you can have this question please don't make mistake in that question now the next question so mumps we did so then which is the mumps next is the measles measles ka always you can expect a question from the measles so now what is here look at the right this is a child's tota no? so you see rashes on the palms when you see rashes on the palms and if it is in the children that is measles adults may if you see palms and uh plantar side may if you see rash that is your syphilis don't forget children's may commonly measles adults may it is syphilis of course your hand put more juice can cause but that's rare so usually you get question from measles okay measles the rash can palms and sores okay and look at these two rashes this is exactly near to the molar now molar so that is called what coplic spot coplic spot also in the measles coplic spot okay coplic spot is also in the measles this all are in the measles only okay okay and now what is this this is again a multinucleated giant cell a different form you know uh, there in a herpes also we saw herpes simplex one two and varicella zoster may you see sangsmere and mngc here also if you see you see a multinucleated giant cell in the measles what is the name of this this is called Vartin Finkidli, Vartin Finkidli cell, Vartin Finkidli cell, Vartin Finkidli, Fin K E D L Y, Finkidli cell. You know this one. So this is also a question they can ask. They can ask uh, M and W are same. That is another clue. M measles and W look same. Vartin Finkidli. Okay, right. Now what is this picture? This picture this is basically a torniquet test. This was a this picture. If you see, this is a torniquet test. Just a second. I'm just going to change my color. Yeah, so uh, just give me a second, change this color into red pen. Yeah, so look at this picture. If you look at this picture, see these rashes over here. And then these are the rashes. One second, please. I'm sorry. Okay, so if you see this picture, you see this rash here. One second. Now, so here. This is a tourniquet. They have tied a tourniquet in the arm here, and then they found the rashes. If you see this particular rash, and if the rash is more than 20 per per, cu per, per uh, cubic, you know, inch, inch per cubic, whatever, you know, more than 20 particular rash, if you have positive, that is which it is, is your dengue. That's your dengue hemorrhagic fever. Dengue hemorrhagic fever. This question was also asked, okay? So that is called tourniquet test. When you tie the tourniquet and leave, and if you have rashes more than 20 per square cubic inch, then that would be dengue fever, okay? So dengue fever, dengue hemorrhagic fever, okay? Dengue hemorrhagic fever. You know that one also, okay? So that question can be asked. So platelet was low. That's what the patient is having bleeding. When platelet is low, you know, dengue means the main cell is platelet. Now platelet will go down. That's what. So we do NS1 antigen test, which is positive, then that is dengue, okay? Yeah, I'm briefing it. Now this one. This is again, uh, this question you must be knowing already. This is from the, this, this is a neuron. In neuron, means their stain was cellar stain. Cellar stain. Okay, cellar stain. And the cellar stain, may, what is that one? Which is the cellar stain? You know, Brian, if you do Parkenji Selka, you get which bodies? Negri bodies. Negri bodies is seen in where? This is also characteristic for which disease? Rabies. Yaka, this question can come. Okay. Cellar stain, Negri bodies, rabies. So these are the Parkenji cells. You know, your neuron cells, neuron Parkenji cells. This stain, stain, you know, those things are Negri bodies. Okay. So you can expect question from this also. Right. Okay. Next. Now, some of the eggs, important eggs we are going to discuss. So, eggs, if you see, what are the eggs we are uh, important here from our examination point of view? So, this egg, you know, this is always, I say, this is a barrel shaped egg, you know, barrel shaped, barrel or what we call dumbbell. Now, you call this dumbbell, barrel or dumbbell shaped egg with mucus plug, you know, end of mucus plug. That's what we call as a barrel or dumbbell, and it's called mucus plug. So, and so how to remember this barrel or dumbbell, say, kya kuregi? you try to, try, try, to kya try try to break the coconut try to break the break the with a barrel dumbbell or whip whip say kya kurugi you try try to break the coconut coconut because you have rectal coconut re, coconut shell rectum appearance of this all why i said try try because this is trichuris trichuria trichuris trichuria okay very easy as a dumbbell just a shape aata hai. you always want to do dumbbell or is the uh, uh, barrel you try try to work out to break a coconut or whatever okay this is i, I gave coconut because there's a coconut rectum which is common trichuris trichuria that's the reason okay so first one trichuris trichuria egg is important second one this ugly looking you know it looks like a crocodile skin ka egg just that egg which is very common egg which is that is your ascaris 
ascaris and how there is a unfertilized and fertilized. Whenever there is a space, if space is there, if there is a space, if you see this space in a crescentric space, that is fertilized. If there is no space, if there is no space, the non, if there is no space, then it is non-fertilized. Non-fertilized, okay, not fertilized. No space is not fertilized. Also, it will not float, not float. No, 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 no. Everything will be no, no, no. No space, not fertile, not floating, not it's not floating on the water, and that means they are not non-fertilized. So if it is there is a space and if it is floating, then that is fertilized egg. Okay, float hef hef. Okay, remember like that. Okay, ascaris egg will be like this. This is the this is what this is a clear. You see, this egg with inside there's a hexocanth embryo. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sometimes it looks like more, it doesn't matter. If you see this embryo, like this embryo, that is what your hookworm. Hookworm. Yeah, that is typical hookworm. Hookworm is basically what? Your ancyclostoma and ancyclostoma and necator americanus. Necator or the hookworm. So this is a hookworm. If you get this picture, that's a hookworm. Okay, got it? Right. Now, next one. These eggs, these eggs are very less. Uh, I, I, I mean, you never know. They didn't ask much, but you can, you know, because this egg, every time there's chance of asking. So now, fourth one. This is a operculated egg. Operculated means see, there is a lid and egg is open. You know? Operculated. Operculated egg. We call it operculated egg. Matlab, egg is open. When you will get open, when you have open sex, what you will get? You will have STD. Without condom, if you have sex, you have STD. Yes, for spirometra. So this, this could be a spirometra or this could be one of the trematodes. Trematodes. Trematode ke yaad nahi tha. Tree yaad karo. Tree is always outside open. And a tree is always outside, it's open. And D for which one? Diflobotrium lotum. Diflobotrium lotum. Diflobotrium lotum, which is causing what? Bada name. So it causes which vitamin deficiency? B12 deficiency. Bottle. Diflom means bottle. Bottle ko open karna padega. Tree is always open. Bottle peene ke liye open karna padega. Got it? Diflobotrium lotum. Diflobotrium lotum. So these bottle is too open. Okay. So these are the eggs open. Open eggs. Okay. Okay. Now the other fourth one. Now, what is this one? Trematodes, I told all the eggs are open, but there is an exception. What is the exception? A -a exception. Cystosomiasis. These are closed eggs. Cystosomiasis. Cystosomiasis is the one egg where the egg is come closed. There is not open, closed. Okay. So, cystosomiasis, we have thing. This first one is cystosoma mansoni. Mansi. Mansi has a side ball. Mansi ka side me. This pretty girl, Mansi. You know, she is having a side ball. She has a side ball. Remember like that. Okay. Man Sony. We call this man Sony. Okay. And this is terminal. Terminal me hoga It's called cystosomia. Hematobi. The most dangerous one. Hematobium. Terminal. You know? Terminal spine. Terminal spine. Hematobium. If the spine is on the lateral side, that is mansical lateral side me hai. Hematobi means terminal. Terminal T40. Dangerous one. There is a small knob over there. That is Japonicum. Cystosoma. J-A-P-O. Japonicum. Japonicum. In hematobium, one thing I want to remember, which cancer? Bladder carcinoma. Okay. Bladder carcinoma. And in urine. It will affect the bladder. So, it is usually bladder carcinoma. It's usually acid from the urine. These two will pass in the blood. Okay. That's it. I'm not going to stress too much there. Okay. Fine. Finished. Six, this one. What is this egg? This egg. This egg is very typical egg. The only clue here is it, this egg just is an embryo for it's an embryo here, embryo for the egg, the around this thing, uh, the, the shell, you know, egg cell, all these things are present. Important thing is the hooklets. If you see, you can see six hooklets or three pairs of hooklets, we can say. So whenever you see the hooklet, that could be either your tinea, tinea solima saginata, and other one is your H nana. H nana will come in the option. If you see this type of polar thickening and a three pairs of hooklet and all. So that is either tinea or your H nana. That's a clue. Okay. You have only one option, H nana, tinea. Remember that. Okay. That is, you have to remember. Hooklet, either tinea, uh, usually tinea solium, very common. And then H nana. This is the eggs you have to remember. Okay. Right. Now this egg. What is this egg? The next egg, you see that plano convex egg. So I know that you already, uh, you must be saying the answer already. You must be, uh, uh, you know, telling the answer what it is. That is basically... How you how to remember? I'll tell you the clue. See this egg, it looks like a D shape. Na? The, the, the egg looks like a D. So what happened? Children, kya bolte? D, D, they, they call na? D, 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 D. Whenever they got itching, perianal itching, they call it. Why they get perianal itching? Because bache ko kya hai? Enterobius vermicularis. Enterobius vermicularis. That is the pinworm. You know, enterobius vermicularis. That is called pinworm also. We call it as pinworm. So, pinworm hota bache ko. So, bache will say DED. So, any D-shaped egg or plano convex eggs means enterobius vermicularis. Pinworm. Not pinworm, sorry. Pinworm. Pinworm, threadworm, anything. They are seat worm also they are called. Okay. That's one thing. Remember that. And now this one. Uh, this one, you know, this is already the shape. 
cyst. It's a cyst. So which cyst? This is a hydatid cyst. Hydatid cyst. And what is the one question I want to ask here? What is the test? Cassoni test. Yes. Cassoni. You do Cassoni's test. It's a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. Cassoni test. Cassoni test. You know, it's allergic. Any allergic. Asthma or uh, atopic rhinitis. All allergy things will come in type 1. So it's a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. Okay. Got it? Okay. Now next one. This one. What is this ulcer? This ulcer. How does it look? This ulcer is a it's, it looks like a flask shape. So that is which one? Amoebiasis. Amoebiasis. Amoebic ulcer. Amoebiasis or amoebic ulcer. This is a flask shape. Yeah, this is a flask shape. Flask shape. This is a flask shaped amoebic uh, amoebiasis or amoebic ulcer. Amoebic ulcer. Okay, amoebiasis, amoebic ulcer, which is caused by entamoeba histolytica EH. Okay, entamoeba, entamoeba, entamoeba histolytica. Histo EH, histolytica. Okay, histolytica. So all belong to this is the cyst of entamoeba histolytica. A they go just round. It, it's a quadrinucleate, char nucleus. So it is quadrinucleate, quadrinucleate cyst, quadrinucleate cyst. So you can have picture this, or you can have a trophocyte like this. Trophocyte ka picture hai. What you see in trophocyte? If you see this RBC, see that is the clue. You see RBC ingested yeah, amoeba hai. Amoeba is ingested the RBC. So if you see this thing in stool, if they give a question, maybe dysentery was there and stool, this thing was found like this, the picture comes. It's RBC, it is a karyosome. But if the important thing is the RBC. If you get the RBC and if karyosome comes, it doesn't matter, then that is your entamoeba histolytica. This question also can come. Okay, okay, in stool. Now, same one here. Look at this one. So if you see here, what is this one? It looks like a, what is this? It's a, how does it look? It looks like a anchovy sauce. Anchovy sauce. Anchovy sauce is very common in which one? It is in the, it is in the amoebic liver abscess. It's common in the amoebic liver abscess. You see it in the amoebic liver abscess. So usually, endomistic affects the intestine. Then when it goes to amoeba, it causes anchovy sauce appearance. This thing. Okay, remember that only. I'm not going to stress anything else. And this is another important question. Many times repeated. This, uh, this point, this question was uh, asked many times. This three, if you remember, they all are the, now, acid first parasite. We call it as acid first parasite. Here they have done acid first parasite using how many percentage H2SO4? How many percentage? If you remember, we are going to revise it, but still, if you remember, very good. It's one percentage. With using one percentage H2SO4, they have done acid first staining and then they get this. Usually, what they all these three causes, this first one is your cryptosporidium. Cryptosporidium. Please don't confuse cryptococcus. Cryptococcus causes meningitis in HIV patient. Cryptosporidium causes cryptosporidium and I'll come there. Cyclospora, cyclospora and isospora. Isospora, isospora ideally, but nowadays they also call it as cystoisospora. So don't confuse. You stress only on the isospora, okay? Isospora, but it's also called cystoisospora, okay? Fine. So these are the three things important. But, but what are the important things that we have to know here? So we are going to discuss that point only now here. So cryptosporidium, uh, first of all, all these things cause most common cause of diarrhea in HIV patient. Most common cause of diarrhea in HIV patient is these three only. That the most common is cryptosporidium, smallest one. How much? The size is just 4 to 8 micron, that much only. Okay. If they give the size, you have to go with this. A cyclo is from, uh, after 8 will come what? It will, it will be around 12 to 24, 12 to 24 size. Okay. Actually, I would say 4 to 6 is the exact value. I would say 4 to 6 is better. And here you can say 8 to 12. 8 to 12 will be the right size. I'm sorry. I made, uh, I, I just, exact value. I'm writing exact value. So 8 to 12. Let me write it again. 8 to 12. Okay. Remember 8 to 12 micron, 8 to 12 micron. This is 4 to 6. In some books, it's mentioned 4 to 8. So don't confuse. You go with this range only. Okay. 4 to 6, easy to remember. 4 to 6. Then after 6 comes 8. 8 to 12. And sister isospor is the biggest one. So that you double this one. Okay. 24 to 36. You can make it 24 to 36 micron. Okay. Remember like this. This is the easiest one. In some book, it's uh, mentioned uh, whatever I told before. You don't do that. Just remember this one. This is the size. If they mention, it's easy for you. Okay. That's it. So this will be like this, and this is like this, and this is like this. Okay. This is the shape is little bit so oozes. These are the oozes. Whatever you're seeing, these are the cysts. Okay. Oozes, you're saying. That's it. Okay. This is the thing. And one important thing is that I want to remember these two are the autofluorescence is positive. There's a test called autofluorescence. Two sporas, autofluorescence. Autofluorescent test is positive for the two flora, the spora spora, and the spora spora. Two spora ka autofluorescence comes positive. Automatically, they are fluorescent. They shine, but not for cryptosporidium. Cryptosporidium is the most common cause of diarrhea. That is the important point. Okay. This question you will not make mistake. Okay. Thought of this, this, this round, round shape. Huh? But this one is thought as a oval shape, like this. You see, the name itself, isospora itself. You know, if you put like this, it you know, it becomes like a 
that only. Okay, looks like oval shape only. Okay, right. So if you get that, very good. Now these these are again very important questions. Definitely must know questions. You can't skip any topic from here. Look at this. So I if they give the picture and without any history, history, you know, just give the picture and they see. And if there's only one nucleus, you see only one nucleus. This is the this is a trophozoite. This is a trophozoite, and there's only one nucleus. You know what I will think? You know, single nucleus. So who is single in parasite? I always think who our South Indian Trisha. I always say that Trisha is a single girl. You know, she's single. A white tree because it is Trichomonas vaginalis. Trichomonas, Trichomonas, Trichomonas vaginalis. Trichomonas vaginalis. Don't forget. Okay, Trichomonas vaginalis. Why? There's only single nucleus is the first clue. Okay, apart from that, which is important, this is one of the common causes of vaginitis. You know, many questions they ask. And another important question they ask is strawberry vagina. The vagina will look like a strawberry vagina cervix. Okay, that's one thing because Trisha likes strawberries. You know? And other thing, don't forget, Trisha is an actress. So she likes green veggies. So green color discharge, any green color discharge from the vagina, that is also your Trisha. Okay. And of course, you know, Trisha's pop, Trisha likes what? She has beautiful eyelash. So lash media, another one, she has expensive diamonds. She has she's rich girl. No, she's actress. So lash media, diamond media are the culture media gold standard. That also can be a question. Okay. Lash and diamonds media for the culture. But I did. And one more thing. Why single? Uh, single, I told the nucleus single. One more single is there. Why? Because only in trichomonas vaginalis, you have only trophozoite. There is no cyst stage. There is only trophozoite stage. Okay, trophozoite stage. There is no cyst. That was also asked in your previous FMG exam. Okay. So the only the yeah, T40, T40, very simple T40. Even if that you forgot also, uh, you remember Trisha single. Trisha single. So only trophozoite is there. There is no cyst. And one more important thing, the most important thing which we forgot is what was motility. Motility, you know, T4. Trisha T for twitching motility. Twitching. You have twitching motility. Trisha twitches her eyes like this. You know, she twitches like this. Okay. Remember like that. Okay. So that's the easy way. Last moment revision. Okay. This is the way you're going to remember. T T T trick or trick on us. Trophozoite twitching. Okay. Okay. So this is fine. This is usually a vaginal discharge. You will get this picture. Now they'll give you diarrhea. They'll give you in question may it'll come. Question will come. The patient had a diarrhea, and diarrhea may they have seen something. What they have seen, this picture will be coming. In diarrhea, patient diarrhea in stool examination, this one. So this is easy. This may they could just like two nucleus. They are only single. Trishaka single. She's always single, single, single. But here two nucleus. So two nucleus means you know that this is a giardia. Very good. Okay. This is a giardia trophocyte. So I'm going to write it here. Giardia. This is giardia ka. This is a trophocyte. And this is a cyst. Cyst is a bit oval shape. And usually here, it's a quadrinucleate. Sometimes it will be bi also. doesn't matter. So, but this, this is a cyst. Oval shape for this one. Okay. End of it was round. But here it is oval shape. Okay. Usually they'll ask this one. Don't worry. This one they'll ask. So, GRMA, what is the thing you remember? The motility. Say, I always remember, I told you, Gia ka yadukur. Gia is the vegetable. Gia upar se girjata hai. Girjata hai matla falling down. Okay. You know that falling down motility. Falling down motility. Also, tennis racket, you remember, because sometimes they've asked also, because it, uh, the appearance is typical like tennis racket. Up tennis racket, te gia ka kya karogi? you beat the tree and the gear gets jata hai. Okay. So, mainly remember falling down motility. Falling down motility is very, very important. Okay. Twitching motility, falling. Uh, here it is falling. Twitching for trichomonas, falling with motility is for your, uh, and the most common cause of steatoria. Steatoria. That also you remember, okay? And one of the tests which you're doing is what? String test. Don't forget. This is important. That's what I'm repeating everything. Otherwise, I, I will not string test. Okay, string test. Actually, three organisms give string test. What you do? Whenever somebody puts string and dies, look at what coma mein jayega. Coma mein, if you go to emergency, what they will do? They'll put Glasgow coma score. Whenever somebody puts string and die, you put you put coma score. So GCS. G for Giardia. C for Cryptosporidium. Cryptosporidium. And S for Strongylitis. These are the three organisms where you're putting a string. That string test, you know, you have put it into the duodenum. From duodenum, you collect aspirate and then you check for the, uh, the uh, trophocyte or cyst or eggs. Okay, that's it. Okay, so this is another question. So, GRD also very important. So, we covered the GRD also. Okay, picture. Now, a little bit about mycology. Mycology, what are the important questions they can ask you? So, first question. The first one is, the first one is, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, the first one here, you see this one. This picture you see this two, see, first of all, the stains like stuff. What is this? A black color, no? So that is called Gomori methinamine silver. Silver stain. Silver means any silver, it will be black color. Okay, so that's a, a Gomori methinamine silver. And this one is PS, per acid iodic chef, you call it. Per acid iodic. Just 
pass you remember pass periodic chap so usually pink color you see all the pink color if you see these all are these both are periodic okay hemotoxin you also possible that also almost but uh, you just remember at least the stain current that's the, the that is one thing but the most important thing here is the uh, you have to identify which uh, which uh, fungus it is that's the most important question here okay so how to remember so look at look at these two. These two are same, almost same, but thoda sa the staining difference only. So here it is acute angle. See the hyphae. It's acute angle and it is septate. That means acute angle and septate. So aspergillus, aspergillus. Okay, Agya, Aspergillus means A for acute angle. It's like forty-five degree like that. You know. So acute angle. So when the word comes acute angle, and other one is yes for septate. If you see septate hyphae. Septate, matlab, yeah, na? this is all the septate, septate, you can see, septate, aagya, toh, this is aspergillus, this question was also asked, this is aspergillus, okay, but if this, if this, the fungus, if suppose it's like this, see, here it is wide, there is no septa, first of all, there is no septa, sub wide, hai, mota bhi hai, wide and mota, and other one is what, there is, it's not an acute, it's a right angle, it's like a right angle, the high face are at right angle, okay, right angle is at 90 degree, like this 90 degree, you know, they're like 90 degrees, see here, they're like 90 degrees, you know, these are like 90 degrees one, so if this one comes, then that is your, your mota mucor mycosis, mota mucor mycosis or mota zygo zayad, zayad and obi mota hai. Okay, uska shape nahi hai, kuch nahi hai. Both mota hai, zygo, zaman, whatever, whoever name you are, you are liking, you know, keep anybody with a Z, okay? You remember, usually zaman, zylo, I have a lot of friends, they are mota motas. So they are mota, motu hai, uska shape nahi hai. So that's what no separate and right angle, remember like that, okay? Very, very simple. Comori, methanum and silver and parioti. Okay, finished, okay? So this will not make mistake. Mucor mycosis is wide, hoga. everything is wide and mota hai. As per the A and yes, A for acute, A for septate. Okay, this is the way you would remember, okay? Now this one. This is the dermatophyte infection. Dermatophyte infection. So now, uh, how to remember this? Okay, very easy, not so difficult again. So this one, in dermatophyte, you know dermatophytes are what? Dermatophytes are usually superficial fungal infections, okay? So we have three important cost agents. One is the trichophyton, trichophyton, one is the trichophyton, okay? Another one is the epidermophyton, 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 phyton, and another one is your microsporum. Microsporum, microsporum, okay, microsporum. Okay, now how to remember this? Sir? I'll give you very easy, not to worry, and definitely you can have one question from here. Every year, I, the pain pattern, they have asked this question, so you can expect this question. So, trichophyton, first of all, what I think they three, tri means three, so it affects the skin, hair, and nail, everything. Anna? But epidermophyton, mein, skin, hi, skin to everywhere, the phyton, N is there, so nail, skin and nail, skin ke epidermy means skin, skin ke saati nail hota hai, anna? But microsporum, ka, you remember, skin is always there. Micro hair, hair to micro hota hai. So hair, bas, easy. Hair and uh, skin and the hair, finished, okay. Abhi try ko kaise yad karna, the macro only, whatever the macro is seeing, they are called what? Pencil. So kaise yad ko? Always try to write, try to write with pencil first. Try to write with pencil, pencil first, okay. Then only you will go to pen, eh, na? Pehle pencil mein liko, phir pen mein jau. So pencil shaped macro kone, pencil shaped macro kone dia. If the pencil shaped macro kone dia, that is, this picture comes, then that is your tri trichophyton. This question will be asked, okay, trichophyton. Hey, this, look at this. This is like a, you know, uh, this is called club. Club kis ke pas hota hai? Club hai to pata hai na? It's usually like this. Aise hota hai na? Jaise club hai, club ke andar bahut doors hai. If you want to enter inside the club, there are many doors. Remember like that, hai na? So, South India mein, AB ka naam hai koi bhi hota hai, unke pas club hota hai. Usually it's common. Wherever you go, South India, if you want to go to any pub or club, unka owner hota hai, Epinazer, Epinazer, they call Epinazer, Epinazer. So, Epidermophyton is club. Club kis ke pas hai? AB ke pas hai. Hamar AB ke pas, okay? Microsporum ka kaise yaad kori? Micro means, micro, micro, this is, this is the shape is micro spindle. Micro spindle. If you can't remember, actually you have a clue here, sporum and spindle is there, micro spindle, uh, micro spindle shape, you can say spindle, spindle shape, or how to remember, micro me, if sa, ko spin karna hota hai, micro me, micro biology me, for every test we do spinning, so micro spindle, however you want, okay, micro sporum, micro spindle, however you want, spindle shape, aise a gaya to, if they give the picture, then that is microsporum. Easy. Okay, that's it. So these are the things you should remember. In everything, one more, these are macroconidias, but microconidia is present only in trichophyton. Remember that. Microconidias, microconidias, microconidias are present only in the trichophyton. In dono mein nahi hai. Though the naam mein microsporan hai, but they are less or it's not absent. Okay, remember that question. Okay, that's important. Right. Now, next one. Look at this one. This one, you will not make mistake. I know that this is, this, this is like a delicious food. 
what is this? You see what? You see the uh, spaghetti and meatball. Spaghetti and meatball. And spaghetti and this is the spaghetti and meat. Spaghetti and meat are also what we call banana and the banana and banana and grapes. Right? Banana and grapes. Banana and grapes. So this is for which one? Who likes this thing? Kiske kaane ka pasand hai ye pura? Mala. Kaun se mala hamara? Piti mala. Matlab piti mala. Means mala sisya farfar. This is mala sisya farfar. Mala sisya farfar. Mala sisya farfar is the fungus ka naam. Mala sisya farfar. Uska disease what you call? Piti pitriasis vetricolor. Pitriasis vesicolor. Okay, vesicolor. And also there is also fried egg is vesicolor. Color. Fried egg with olive oil appearance also seen in Malasasia purple, but that is okay. But this picture is commonly expected an important question. So whatever you think, see spaghetti, a pura spaghetti, a dot dot, that is the meat wall. So spaghetti and meat or it's also looking like a banana and grapes. Both are right. So banana and grapes, that's a mala, mala ka both pasanda kane ka. Okay, that's it. Now the next question. Next question, if you see, what is the thing what you're seeing here? This is a this is a, this is a cryptococcus ka rapid test. Always remember, rapid test is the best test for cryptococcus. Okay, you will get the report easily and just go to do the blood test and it is very uh, confirmative. So the best test, if they ask, always go with crypto. It gives a fast also. That has to be fast. Okay, cryptococcus rapid test. But ideally, what you do, it is the only capsulated fungi again. Okay, I mean for uh, uh, the, the exam purpose, there are other few capsules. That's not important. That's only postgraduate. Now for uh, our level, you remember the common, uh, the only capsulated fungus is cryptococcus. So what is this stain? This is a negative stain. Very good. So in negative stain, what you have done? What is the negative stains? You know, India ink or India ink. Another one is your negrosin. N-A-G-R-O, uh, negrosin. Indian ink or negrosin are the two common uh, stains we are using. So what did you see? Uh, around this, what you see? You see the capsule. The capsule is not stained. I mean, background is stained, but the capsule is not stained. That's the clue for you. Okay, so it's a cryptococcus. You can expect a question. And the bird name is pigeon. You know that one. Okay. Yeah. Now next, see. Look at this picture. Please look at this picture. I know that already you might be making guesses. This is basically what your mycetoma. 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 So before going to mycetoma, once again, let's we have to talk about mycetoma. We have subcutaneous fungal infection. Subcutaneous, you know? Sub we have superficial fungal infection like your uh, pitresis, vesicular, tenia, etc. Then we have subcutaneous, then we have dimorphic fungi, right? And uh, the uh, systemic fungi. But in subcutaneous fungi, ka, what are the, the shortcut is MRCS, MRCS. If you want to do what MRCS, if you want to learn about subcutaneous, you have to do what MRCS. So what is this MRCS clue? Okay, I'm going to write it now here. So what MRCS means, MRCS means M for mycetoma, mycetoma, okay, R for renosporidiosis, renosporidiosis, and C for chromoblastomycosis. This is important, chromoblast, chromoblasto. Mycosis, chromoblastomycosis, okay, and S may sporotrichosis, sporo, 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 trichosis, okay, sporotrichosis, okay. These are the things, this is important because this sporotrichosis is also coming in dimorphic. So the only dimorphic fungi which is causing subcutaneous is sporotrichosis, okay, that is one question repeated last. Another one, chromoblastomycosis is not a dimorphic fungi. It is just causing a subcutaneous infection. Okay. That's the thing I want you to remember. Okay. Mycetoma, you know why it's mycetoma? It is because you see a swelling here. There's a swelling plus there is a sinus discharge and a sinus plus discharge with granules. Discharge with granules. That's it. Okay. This type of thing comes mycetoma. So it could be actinomycetoma or it could be eumycetoma. That you know, it's fungus or bacteria. Okay. I'm not talking that here. We, we are just revising the pictures. Now look at this picture and tell me, what is this? This is a farmer. The clue will be like it's a farmer or he's working in a forest and suddenly he got a uh, trauma and he got this watch or varicose. Okay, this watch or varicose. So this one comes, the answer is what? Chromoblastomycosis. Chromoblastomycosis. They have, in exam, they will give this picture and identify just directly. They say chromoblastomycosis. Chromoblastomycosis. And it's not a dimorphic fungi. Okay. It will come directly. But what is the clue? They say the staining was done. And when doing the staining, what they found? This one. So it's my clue. When you look at this, what it looks like a coin and a copper. It looks like a copper penny. Penny or coin, same. So copper penny. You know? Very simple. It looks like a coin. Coin means penny. Penny and see it's like a chrome. Chrome, you know? chrome. chrome means it's a metal. So copper. Very simple. Okay. So copper penny appearance. One name, otherwise you call it sclerotic body. You call it a sclerotic body, sclerotic body. This is also another name. Otherwise, you call what? What? Mureform. 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 Or also called medlar. 
मेडला कोई भी आपका ऑप्शन में आ सकता है सो यू हैव टू नो ऑल द नेम्स मेडला बॉडीज वेरी नाइस क्रोमोप्लेस्टोम इज वेरी नाइस सो डोंट फॉरगेट ओके सो क्रोम तो यू नो यू गेट ऑल दिस थिंग्स कॉपर पेन नहीं चाहिए क्रोम क्रोम एंड मोरे फॉर्म मेडलर बॉडीज और स्क्लेरोटिक स्क्लेरोटिक आल्सो इट लुक्स लाइक साउंड से मेटल सो ऑल दिस थिंग्स कम इन क्रोमोप्लेस्टोम माइक्रो सो दिस पिक्चर यू विल नॉट मेक मिस्टेक ओके यस नाउ नेक्स्ट वन सो नाउ विद अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ डाइमोर्फिक पंजे ऑल द डाइमोर्फिक पंजे सो डाइमोर्फिक पंजे If you see first, you know the shortcut. You know I, I always told you. You remember what? Hit, blast, hit, blast, cock, paracock, cock, paracock, and spot. That is four or three processes. I will come there and pen. So hit me histo histoplasmosis. So in histoplasmosis, this picture can come. Histoplasmosis, you always know. I don't want to tell that clue. It always comes here. Hi, what they say? Uh, histoplasmosis. Me, he says the boy boyfriend says hi, darling. Let's go to Ohio. और मिसिसिपी केव बिकॉज अदर नेम इज केव डिजीज डार्लिंग डिजीज केव में जाके लेट्स डू रोमांस द गर्लफ्रेंड इज सेइंग नो डार्लिंग बिकॉज वहां पर क्या है देर इज अ बैट वो बैट से हमको क्या आएगा टीबी आएगा टीबी आएगा दैट वाज द क्लू ओके सो दिस इज द क्लू सो नाउ यू सी दिस वन वी हैव वी हैव टाइनी बडिंग ईस्ट सेल्स लाइक दिस टाइनी टाइनी इफ यू सी इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द टाइनी बडिंग ईस्ट सेल्स टाइनी बाय ईस्ट सेल्स दैट इज one thing that is this is in the uh, this is usually in the east may if you get this picture mold may if you get this one this question was asked in your previous fmg tuberculate right? this is called tuberculate appearance this is round and like this this comes so that is called tuberculate or tuberculate so if you see tuberculate macroconidia tuberculate macroconidia tuberculate and tb almost sound same tb that the disease is similar to tb histoplasmosis one the disease is similar to tb that would be question and tuberculate macroconidia this was the two Conidia comes. That is histoplasmosis. Other name under I don't say you know already because this revision is a darling disease, kissing, uh, not kissing, a uh, darling disease, Ohio disease, uh, Mississippi disease, you know, caves disease, all those things. But uh, in uh, uh, the diagnostic part, it is important. So this is the first one, histoplasmosis. Second one, if you see here, it's very easy. Look, it's figure of eight. Figure of eight, wide. They call it as wide. You know, wide base, wide base budding yeast cells. So this looks like a B, na. So blastomycosis, blastomycosis. Blastomyces, please remember this is a North Indian. We also call it North Indian blastomyces. Okay, so just figure out eight. This question will also came. You will ask. Just B eight is looking R. It's a lagra B. Just that. That's it. Okay, so that's easy. You will not make mistake in it. Now cock. Cock to always is same. I always call this guy as a cocky Arthur. Me usko puchhe tau. There's this guy called cocky Arthur. Cocky Arthur. Arthur because cocky to cockidio mycosis ho gaya. Cockidio mycosis na. Cockidio माइकोसिस है ना कॉकरी माइकोसिस और तो वो कॉक का नाम है ना कॉक तो यू नो कॉक इस दिस इस द कॉक राइट दिस इस द कॉक कॉक तो दैट हेंस हस्बैंड या कॉक ओके रिमेंबर दैट ही दिस कहाँ पर बैठा हुआ एक बैरल के ऊपर है ना बैरल के ऊपर बैठा हुआ सो दिस वन दिस बैरल व्हाट यू सीइंग ना बड़ा करेगा तो इट लुक्स लाइक अ बैरल शेप सो बैरल शेप आर्थ्रोस्पोर यू कॉल्ड इस बैरल शेप आर्थ्रोस्पोर वन एंड दिस इस द स्पेरियल्स दिस इस स्पेरियल्स विथ स्पोर्स यू नो स्पेरियल्स विथ स्पोर्स स्पेरियल्स विथ स्पोर एंड इफ यू सी आर्थ्रोस्पोर दैट इस कॉकिडियो माइकोसिस कॉकिडियो माइकोसिस ये कॉ कहाँ पर रहता है वैली में रहता है उसका वजह से उसका क्या हो गया वैली रोमेटिज्म वैली रोमेटिज्म दिस क्वेश्चन वास आल्सो आस वैली रोमेटिज्म ओके वैली रोमेटिज्म वैली रोमेटिज्म ओके कॉकी आर्थर आर्थ्रोस्पोर आर्थर का मतलब आर्थ्रोस्पोर यू सी आर्थ्रोस्पोर एंड ये कॉ कहां से खाता है स्पेरियोल से खाता है यू सी इट्स अ स्पोर फ्रॉम द स्पेरियोल सो स्पोर्स विद द स्पेरियोल आर्थिक ऑफर तो आपको क्लू से आपको पता चल जाएगा इट इज अ कॉकी एंड इट कॉसेस वैली रोमेटिज्म ओके राइट नाउ पैराकॉकिडियोसिस फोर्थ वन इज पैराकॉकिडियोसिस इन पैराकॉकिडियोसिस इन पैरा कॉकीडियोरिस व्हाट टू डू कॉक तो ऑलरेडी है दिस अ कॉक वो कॉक के साथ पैरा करो एवरीथिंग यू मेक इट पैरा मींस budding yeast cells around many budding yeast cells not just one many like this ho gaya to we call it paracoc so look at this shape it's looking like a mickey mouse so this is a mickey mouse okay if you get a mickey mouse mickey mouse or this is a wheel and right? we have one wheel rotate the wheel rota virus ko rotate another wheel is in paracoc cock ko para karega to that also wheel so what are the wheels kiska naam kya hai we call it as what we call as pilot wheel pilot or sailor anything you know sailor wheel appearance sailor wheel appearance okay wheel appearance that's it 
sailor will appear. Jevala. This is the sailor will appear. Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse. And so that question was expected question asked in your previous exam. So this all are repeatedly asked questions. Okay. So these are you're not going to make any mistake. And this one, red. Red means it's very easy for uh, South Indian students to come. No, no, I mean, no, North Indians, all students also will know. But uh, why am, this is another demo thing. This is pen. No, pen. And this is pot. I mean, you say dimorphic fungi, you remember hit, blast, cock, paracock, pen, or spot. Yes, sub dangerous valachis. So, whenever you get a culture media red color, red, you know, you know who is the actor of red movie in South? Our Ajit Kumar. Tala. He's a Tala. Tala, we call him Tala. He's popular. He's a superstar. So, we call Talaromyces. See, Talaromyces. Talaromyces is the one. Otherwise, called Penicillium marnipi. Penicillium marnipi. I told you the story already because uh, what happened? What happened? There was this bamboo rat thumb. There was a bamboo rat. वो बैंबू रट का वो क्या ताले क्या कहते हैं उसका मारने के लिए उसका ब्रूमस्टिक उसका ब्रूमस्टिक से और पेंट ब्रश ब्रूमस्टिक और पेंट ब्रश है ना वो ताले के ये पसंद है पेंट ब्रश करना बहुत पसंद है और घर पे ब्रूमस्टिक उससे क्या किया वो रैट को मार दिया मारने पी है ना पेन इसलिए मारने पी मारने पी सो so, उसका क्या हो गया रेड का बट में रेड कलर हो गया सो द ओनली रेड पिगमेंट प्रोड्यूसिंग देयर आर यू बट मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट वन अमंग डायमोफिक प्रोड्यूस रेड कलर पिगमेंट इज योर पेनिसिलियम मार्नेपी टैलरोमाइसिस इज कॉमनली इट्स नोडेस इज कॉल्ड टैलरो और पेनिसिलियम कोई भी आएगा डोंट फॉरगेट ताले का क्या पसंद है पेन पसंद है ताले का ब्रशिंग करना पसंद है पेंटिंग ब्रश करना पसंद है हमारा ताले का ताले का टैलरोमाइसिस का ठीक है पसंद है वो रेड को मार देता है ओके ब्रूम स्टिक और पेंट स्टिक का अपीयरेंस हो गया ना फिफ्थ वन दिस इज फिफ्थ वन टैलरोमाइसिस नाउ लास्ट वन इज द स्पोर मैंने बोला था दिस इज द ओनली डायमोर्फिक फंगस स्पोरोट्रिकोसिस व्हिच इज कॉसेस व्हाट सबक्यूटेनियस स्पोरोट्रिकोसिस का अनदर नेम यू नो इफ यू स्पोरोट्रिकोसिस यू ऑलवेज रिमेंबर व्हाट द गार्डनर 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 रोज गार्डनर है ना गार्डनर और रोज गार्डनर यूजुअली गार्डनर और रोज गार्डनर सो ए ही हु दिस इज द पिक्चर टिपिकल पिक्चर ए आर्म्स में है ए हैंड हैंड में है और लेग यू गेट व्हाट रो ऑफ अल्सर्स यू गेट दिस रो ऑफ अल्सर अलोंग द लिम्फेटिक लिम्फेटिक में आ गया तो दैट इज स्पोरोटिक दिस क्वेश्चन वाज रिपीटेड मेनी टाइम्स ओके देयर इज दिस टिपिकल रैश अलोंग द पाथ ऑफ द लिम्फेटिक इफ इट कम देन इट्स स्पोरोटिक दैट इज द स्पोरोटिक शुड रिमेंबर ओके एंड अदर थिंग दिस इज द फर्स्ट वन and other one is you see here look at this beautiful body here it looks like what like a star you know so we call it as asteroid asteroid bodies asteroid body this is a asteroid body and asteroid body and asteroid ka peripheral end mein you have this thing called splendor hopli splendor hopli so i told uh, hopli hopli okay splendor hopli this is also called sigar 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 bundle appearance sigar bundle so how to remember sigar bundle uh, ye hamara uh, gardener hai na uske paas to ek sigar he likes to smoke the sigar ek hai oh he will see he likes at night time aasman ka stars dekhna pasand asteroid body na asteroid he likes to see the stars dusra hai he likes to he has a splendor bike uske paas splendor bike hai ye to easy hai use rose garden mein hai the appearance is also is called rosette appearance rosette ए वर्ड आ गया तो रोसेट अपियरेंस और देखने में भी रोसेट लग रहा था भी रोज गार्डनर सो स्पाइरोट्रिकोसिस ओके सो स्पॉटी हमारा स्पॉटी रोज गार्डनर का ये चीज इंपॉर्टेंट दीज आर दिंग्स क्वेश्चन यू कैन गेट ओके वेरी इजी सो यू नो इट ओके या नाउ नेक्स्ट वन दिस दिस इज यू ऑलरेडी नो आई एम नॉट गोइंग डिस्कस एनीथिंग दिस इज वेरी इजी Uh, by seeing the picture only, I'm sure you already identified. This is what? This is a, this is a genital ulcer. It's a painless. Okay. It's a painless ulcer. Less pain, less means no pain. So this is syphilis, syphilis. Syphilis, okay. S Y P H I L I S. Okay, syphilis. Okay, S Y P H I L I S. Syphilis is less. Make it as less. Okay, no pain. So this is painless. I get it. So if it's painful, then that is different. That will be herpes, right? That's herpes. The story will go different. Okay, and here, uh, uh, so and also H decree. If this painful, it either herpes or H decree will come. Okay, and look at this. This this is a primary syphilis. This is a primary syphilis. This is a primary syphilis. If, the, if it comes painless, then it's primary syphilis. And these all are the secondary syphilis. See, if you see the rashes on the palms and soles, you know you're seeing here, na no? rashes on the palm and rashes on the sole. I told you that is secondary syphilis. Adults may have got the secondary syphilis. Children may. It is the uh, usually it is measles. In children may be syphilis as well. Mother to child as well. But usually uh, in children that's measles. In adult may it's a secondary syphilis. And this is condyloma lata. Not acuminata. Acuminata is caused by HPV. This is condyloma lata secondary syphilis. Also secondary syphilis. This picture also if they give and they ask this is secondary syphilis caused by Trypanosoma pallidum. You know the organism is Trypanosoma pallidum. Trypanosoma pallidum. It is a spirochete. Na? This is Trypanosoma pallidum. This is spirochete. See this is the one. This is the one. This is spirochete. This is the spirochete. Spirochetes me. What are things you should know? This is spirochete, and this is a dark field microscopy. Dark, yeah. So it's just dark field. Okay, dark field microscopy. 
ओके डार्कफील्ड माइक्रोस्कोपी स्पायरोकेट्स का दे आर कॉर्क स्क्रू ना लाइक दिस दे लुक लाइक अ कॉर्क स्क्रू दे लुक लाइक अ कॉर्क स्क्रू सो दैट इज व्हाट इज द मोटिलिटी कॉर्क स्क्रू मोटिलिटी दैट्स आल्सो क्वेश्चन यू रिमेंबर कॉर्क स्क्रू मोटिलिटी मोटिलिटी विल बी कॉर्क स्क्रू मोटिलिटी दीस आर द इंपोर्टेंट थिंग्स यू शुड नो ओके इन पिक्चर में दिस इज द लास्ट ओके या आई नो दिस वन एंड ऑफ कोर्स सिफिलिस का यू हैव टू नो दैट वीडियल आरपीआर दैट्स नॉन स्पेसिफिक दिस एंड स्पेसिफिक ऑल टीपीएच टीपी टीपीए हेप्टीएबीएस ऑल दोस थिंग्स आल्सो इंपोर्टेंट ओके Um, now here, now here, look at this culture media. This was asked in the recent question. These both are important. See, yellow color. You know, when you see yellow color colony like this, and they give you diarrhea, gyre, and all. You know who, where they give Vibas company. Vibas ka Vibas Vibrio color. Uska company ka naam kya hai? TC, TCS, TCBS. I say TC. Tata Consulting se me kam kar. Tata Consulting me uniform kya hai? Yellow hai. Tata Consulting ka uniform yellow hai. इसमें इस कंपनी में कौन काम करते विबा विबा डार्लिंग विब्रियो विब्रियो डार्लिंग बिकॉज डार्टिंग मोटिलिटी ओके दैट्स व्हाट आई रिमेंबर ओके विबा इज अ डार्लिंग गर्ल उसका सी इज अ स्टार 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 शूटिंग स्टार अपीयरेंस एंड अदर वन इज अ डार्टिंग मोटिलिटी बोथ आर इंपोर्टेंट ओके विब्रियो कलर आता एंड दिस इज अ टीसीबीएस मीडिया एंड नेक्स्ट दिस प्रीवियस इस बार मे बी यू कैन गेट दिस क्वेश्चन दे कैन गिव अ ब्लैक कलर एंड दे आइडेंटिफाई व्हाट मीडिया इज दिस दिस इज व्हाट एनीथिंग ब्लैक दैट इज बिस्मथ सेल बिस्मथ बीएसए मीडिया बिस्मथ सेल है ना Okay, bismuth. So B S A media. So anything bismuth comes, na uh, bismuth across uh, uh, agar it comes. Okay. So uh, uh, B for black. Remember B for black. If you get a black, black. Ah, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I am sorry. I I confused with other one. Big one. Sorry. This is the this is bile salt agar. Oh, I'm sorry. Bile salt agar. Very sorry, guys. Okay. Uh, because there are so many black. I'm going to come that. Okay. See that. See this is the what confusion happens. When you are getting same type of colonies, so bile salt agar. When you use a bile salt agar, bile salt agar, we get a black B for B. Okay, bile salt. Same. Look at here. Look at this black here. This is what? This is which one? Black A B black hai. Uh, A kiska hota hai? Black. Uska naam kya hai? Black Wilson. Black Wilson kiska bodyguard hai? Hamara Salman ji ka. Salman Khan. So Salma Salmonella Salmonella typhi. Hai na Salmonella typhi. Salmon typhi. What is the name? Wilson Blair media. This is the Wilson Blair media. Okay, remember we have lot of media there. We have DCS media there. We have SS media, and we have XLD media. Common for both Shigella Salmon, but only one media that is differentiating Salmon Shigella Wilson Blair is the selective media. Usko bodyguard ka Salmon ji ka bodyguard ka bodyguard is a Wilson. Uska Wilson Blair black lad ka. I have discussed in that lecture. Okay, in my lecture you can see that. Okay, we have time now. No time now. This is revision time. Okay, so forget about it. Okay, so TCBS and BCA media for Vibrio color. Okay, this is for Salmon ji and these two. This is a Mekongki. I don't need to tell this one. Mekongki, Mekongki me. What happened? If it's a pink color, that is lactose fermenter positive. Pink color, ha na? If it is yellow color that is nlf na nlf nlf me uh, lactose fermenters to you know e coli and klebsiella nlf me shigella shigella salmonella and what else comes your proteus and ersemia common okay they are nlf ka this is clad media clad also yellow clad also yellow see you see this yellow color colonies they are they, if they see yellow color that is lf colonies okay lf is pale they here also pale nlf Here also, if it's pale, that is NLF. Okay, it's not. Now it's yellow. So NLF clad media me lactose fermenter colony would be yellow in color. That's it. Okay, this one you have to remember. Okay, my concept is plant P L E A N T N is neutral. It is the indicator. That is one short thing. Obviously, I don't discuss everything because you know that this only the this only the uh, picture. This only image based we are discussing. Now this and all you know, you this must be in your fingertips. This is LSS media. The low plus serum slope. Yeah, you know that I'm going fast. This is all very easy. You must have known by then. This one is potassium telluride color, right? Na potassium. पोटेशियम टेलोराइट अगर पोटेशियम टेलोराइट है ना पोटेशियम टेलोराइट अगर ब्लैक कलर इधर भी ब्लैक कलर दैट्स व्हाट यू सी सो मेनी ब्लैक कमिंग यू नो दैट्स व्हाट आई मिक्स दैट सो बाइल सॉल्ट अगर इज फॉर द आवर विबा एंड दिस पोटेशियम टेलोराइट अगर दिस थिंग्स ऑफ व्हिच वन यू आर कोरने बैक्टीरियम डिफ्थीरिया ऑल दिस थिंग्स ऑफ अ कोरने बैक्टीरिया कोरने बैक्टीरियम डिफ्थीरिया ओके डिफ्थीरिया डी आई पी एच टी एच ई Uh, diphtheria. Okay, corneal bacterium diphtheria. Ka. Okay, so potassium chloride. This is a fast one. It goes very fast, but potassium chloride takes time. That you know, it takes eighteen hours. Here it goes for six hours. That's why selective medium is potassium chloride or Tinsdale. Also, we call Tinsdale. Tinsdale. Okay, both are same. Okay, right. Now this one. This is the membrane, pseudo membrane. Pseudo membrane means again diphtheria. If it's true membrane, that is uh, streptococcus. But here we're talking pseudo membrane. Pseudo membrane is for your diphtheria. And this is this is the bull neck. You know, this big bada bulge there. That is called bull neck. This is also common for your diphtheria. This all are. Uh, bull neck. This also for bull neck. Uh, bull neck is common for what? 
diphtheria, coronary diphtheria. And this is there, this is there, this is again coronary diphtheria because what you're seeing at the end, you're seeing some, what is that called? That is the metachromatic granules. That's called metachromatic granules. This is a gram stain, this is an Albert stain. And it's an Albert stain, you're seeing metachromatic granules. Metachromatic granules, or otherwise, you know, all the things, Babes Ernest, you know, Babes Ernst granule, Babes. Ernst granule. Also, it's also called phosphate storage granules. You know, phosphate, so many names are there. At least these are yeah, important. Okay. Metachromatic granules are Babes Ernest granule or phosphate granules. They're storage granules also. Okay. So, this guy, what is the stain? Albert stain. You used Albert. But you have other stains also for staining the metachromatic. What are they apart from Albert? So, the shortcut was Pan, you know? Ponders, Ponder stain, uh, Albert stain, uh, and then Neeser. Now, now the new things have been added. It's called low plus methylene blue also. Low plus, low plus, though, low plus serum, low plus, anything low, I tell always inter not to low. In diphtheria, what means low, don't low for tell inter not to low for that is a shortcut and a low. So low plus methylene blue. That's it. These are the things to stain the metachromatic granules, phosphate granules. Okay. This now this one. Now this is a gram stain, a different type of gram stain. This is a different type of gram stain. Uh one second. Yeah. So first one is here. You see, this is the uh, this is what is it? Whenever it's purple color, when it's purple color, you call this what? When it's purple color, I, I should change the color better because I don't want to make it purple. Yeah. So whenever it is purple color, it is gram positive. It's a gram positive purple color. Right? Gram positive is always purple color. Gram negative will be your uh, pink color. These are gram negative. Gram negative and right? gram negative means pink color. Right? So first one is. This is one thing why I mentioned because in Listeria, if you remember gram positive, the shortcut was McDonald's. Right? McDonald's. Do O is silent. N A L D S. You I, I know that you must be knowing by this time everything. Actinomyces cornea bacterium diphtheria. Sorry, clostridium D for diphtheria, N for nocardia, actinomyces, L for listeria. And Excuse me, another D for diphtheroid and yes for staphylococcus and staphylococcus. So this listeria, this will come when the patient has meningitis, bacheco, and CSF, if you have this type of picture comes, that is listeria. Please remember, that question was asked many times. So listeria, only gram positive that causing meningitis is listeria, that you remember, okay? And a gram native pink color, see here, see this one. Here is this uh, bacilli, this you can expect this then. Here is this, this is called what? Tram track. If you see this bacilli, See, it looks like a tram. You know, it's a train jar. You know, this full you see, it's a passage. Yeah? It looks like a tram track. Okay, tram track. So you know that what's a tram track? Tram track or school of fish. Or they also called school of fish. School of fish. School of fish. Kone school me jata hai? Tram track me kone walking karke jata hai? Duck. Which duck? Hemophilus duckery. Dukri. Very simple. Dukri. Duck. Duck yaad karo. Duck school jata hai? Kaam par jata hai? Tram take upar walk karke. Tuk, 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 walk karke jata hai. Okay. So, hemophilus dukri. So, that's one. Okay. This picture comes. Please remember. That is also causing a painful ulcer. Painful genital ulcer. STD ulcer. Okay. Right. Now, look at this one. Here, it is a macrophage. Same. A to CSF. I'm just talking CSF. This is CSF also. Here also in CSF. This was also asked in your previous uh, FMG. CSF meningitis patient. Ka. Inside nucleus, they see diplococcus. You see, it's a pink color. So it is a gram negative diplococcus in CSF fluid. In CSF fluid, me aagya. So what do you think? That is your nasiria meningitis. Nasiria meni or meningococcus. You can meningitis. Nasiria meningitis. Or you also call it meningococcus. Same, 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 same. Uh, now, now another question. If this is a urethral discharge from a man, young man, urethral discharge, discharge, and there's a smear was made, and this picture comes. You see. Intracellular, they also diplococci, diplogram, this is also gram negative diplococci, but urethral discharge agia. So you have to sell what? That is nasiria gonorrhea. Gonorrhea. Huh? Nasiria gonorrhea is very easy. Gonorrhea, gonorrhea. Okay. So this is the both are nasiria, nasiria. This is one is nasiria meningitis, it is meningococcus, one is gonococcus, gonorrhea. Nasiria gonorrhea. Nasiria gonorrhea. Okay. Same, same. So you are seeing diplococci. Here, this is uh, this is basically lens shape. This is kidney shape. You know, they are called as kidney shape. Okay. I'm just not writing it kidney shape. Okay. Remember, there diplococci means. Do -do -da, do -do -da, pink color. Okay, this gram negative. Okay, now look at this one. This one you know, I don't have to repeat it. This one must be uh, already in your fingertips, even if you don't know, so it's okay. But I'm, I'm going fast, so uh, sorry for that. Now, now listen, this is the gram, uh, this is not a gram, this is your acid fast basically. This is acid fast stain because why is acid fast stain? I see what color? See here, I see red color. A pink, usually it should be exact word is red color. Why? Because you're using what? Carbolfuxin. You know, your carbolfuxin is a primary stain acid fast. So this red color beaded appearance, this is mycobacterium tuberculosis. Mycobacterium tuberculosis. This one. What about this one? Here, this is the mycobacterium leprae. Mycobacterium leprae. And uh, le what it is, it looks like a gobi appearance 
or also called cigar bundle appearance. I told you leprosy people also, the leprosy people eat only, uh, only gobi and they only smoke cigar. They are already outside the city, right? So that's what I put in this picture, right? Okay. So remember that. And here in acid phosphine, you know the 20 to 25 percent is H2SO4 we are using, whereas for leprosy, we are using only 5 percent. That's also an important question. Lepra, L-E-P-R-A, only 5, 5. Okay, that's okay. This is I'm not that's not revision part. So this is an LJ media. If you see a blue color, this rough of buff called the LJ media, that is for again microbacterium tuberculosis. Okay, space selective media, microbiome culture ke liye, LJ media, we call LJ media. This is the nine banded armadillo. I told you what happened, leprosy people ko usually uh, gar se bar nikal jata hai. So they usually they stay in the forest or somewhere for them. So what happens kya hota hai? Ek nine banded armadillo hota hai, nine banded armadillo. Dousra hai food pad of mice, mice hota hai, mice ko food pad. So your, my, your leprosy will go in the uh, uh, food pad, only in these two not in culture media leprosy cannot be cultured in the artificial culture media that's one question okay so yeah tb pad this is the for uh, micro lepre this media what is this media this is it this is the this media is this media is remember can you tell me this is the biphasic media biphasic otherwise also called kiska person the yeah biphasic ito castinada 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 mean what did i say who is going to castinada the rich actor bruce lee brucella brucella bruce lee kya karta hai bruce lee is by first of all bruce lee is bisexual bruce is by b for b by facing oh uski india my favorite place is castinada okay so castinada that was the clue i gave so one clue there's so many clues in my lecture but now for revision this is enough okay yeah so this is brucella this is brucella and what about this this is a you see the meat particle so that is called robertson cooked meat media rcm robertson uh, robertson cooked meat media ab asata it has been asked in previous exam uh, uh robertson cooked meat media okay robertson cooked media so you see this is a normal media and it become either red color or it become black color and black color black me kya karoge black chai black tea remember karoge so if it's black color that's clostridium tetani tetani and but if it is red color red color who is red angry hamara Mr. Perfect, Clostridium difficile, Clostridium difficile. That's it. These are two points you have to remember. Okay, remember. Now all look at these pictures. This picture, the first is, you see this is egg yolk agar mein, there's an opalescence. Opalescence aya hua hai. Anna? So that is, already the name is between Clostridium perfringi. So this is Nagler's reaction. Nagler's reaction. Okay, that's Nagler's reaction. So I told you Nagler's Nagarjun, eh? he is a, he's always, uh, he's a, uh, he's Mr. Perfect. Mr. Perfect Naga, Nagler's reaction. Okay, positive. Next one, this is a target. I told always Naga has a target. He has a target. Konsi movie act karna, kya karna? He has a target. So this is called double zone hemolysis or target hemolysis. Okay, target hemolysis. That was also a question, hemolysis. Okay, and this one is a reverse camp. I told you, oh, thoda, uh, uh, thoda crazy hai, uh, Nagarjun. So it's a reverse camp positive. So camp to normal nahi karta, wo reverse camp. Subtwitch reverse cut that. Okay. So reverse cap. That also was the question if you remember. Okay, these are the questions. So he has a target hemolysis, he has Nagler's reaction, and uh, yeah, these are the few things you should know. See the spores. You know the spores for example, I don't take. So if this spores is terminal and it can be central or it can be uh, subterminal. Subterminal is the most common one. Most common, all of the most common. So by uh, central is only in few places, example in your clostridium bifermentis. By fair. Mentis. Bifermentis is by him, by kuri. Ek, ek mat do tukra. Anna, ek mat do tukra. So bifermentis. Bifermentis uh, question can come. Terminal to TT. One is clostridium tetanus. And another is clostridium tertium. Tertium. Tetanus ko kya bolte? Drumstick bolte. Tet tet. Drum ko tet tet karo. Tet tet. Drumstick se tet tet karo. Tertium R hai. So it is racket. Tennis racket. Tennis racket appearance. Even difficile also, terminal uh, in some books mentioned it's difficile and Panikar is mentioned it's difficile and also tennis racket appearance. But you have to now for now, you remove only tetanus and tertium. That's enough. T, T. Both the T's are terminal. T for T. That's it. Okay. So this is one question. This question can be asked. Okay. Right. Now next. Uh, so yeah, this picture, I, I, I purposely put it, uh, this Maddie and this two. I hope that you guys remember it very well because Sure, you'll have one. This is basically business anthraxes. Okay. Anthrax. That's what I put her Andrea's picture here. NTH anthrax. Anthrax, you know, I remember Andrea. I remember I only her because Andrea and anthrax, because the name sounds similar. And Andrea, what what you know, she likes she has leather jackets. That means everything like with animal, no. So you got you know that a high potter disease, uh, cutaneous anthrax and uh wool sorter, you know, pulmonary. So because of this, she's wearing all animal, animal lover, animal things. Okay. And I think you look at her hair, SSA hair, Medosa head colony. So this is the Medosa head colony, Medosa. So the uh, organism is bacillus anthraxis bacillus anthraxis so anthraxis mein kya hoga aapko? you have a medosa head colony medosa 
head here. I'm sorry, this one. This is much better. This is the Medusa head colony, Medusa head colony. And Uska favorite is pearls. She loves a lot of pearls. Huh? So pearls, this is the pearls. This is the pearls reaction. So there's a pearls reaction. Medusa head, pearls reaction. Dusra hand, she likes what? Christmas tree, inverted fir tree. This one. This one is the inverted Christmas tree or inverted fir tree. Okay, her favorite. She always plays with the Christmas tree or inverted fir tree. Fir tree question will be there. Okay. Yeah. And this one. She always like to go in what? Box car. Uska normal car me pasandi. She always goes in box car. Fir, sometimes she likes bamboo food also. Bamboo, bamboo food. She likes bamboo. She likes to play with bamboo. Okay, box car, bamboo. Everything goes to Andrea. That's just business anthrax. And also this one is Ascoli thermal precipitation. Ascoli, why I put it Ascoli? Because uska boyfriend henna. This is Maddie. Maddie, why I say Maddie? McFadian reaction positive. Okay, McFadian. McFadian is only positive for business anthrax is capsule. Because uska capsule me kya hai? A for anthrax, A for amino peptide. That is amino acid, polypeptide. Okay, so that's what. Okay, Maddie is McFadian. Reaction for capsule Kelly positive. Other one is I did Maddie is a cool fellow. So uh, why is it cool? Because Ascoli thermo precipitation test. Ascoli thermo precipitation test is com is it's catastrophic for anthrax. And the other one is that he's a cool guy. Another one is thing is that don't forget Maddie has what? Uh, 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 he's a pilot. You know why I put this picture? He's a pilot. So PLET media. PLET media is also means is a specific media for your. Uh, anthraxes, basal anthraxes. Okay, so these are the questions important anthraxes. So you'll not make mistake in that. And now this one. Look at this. You look here, and if you see here, it looks like what? Is it a satellite? Here, so planet a planet ke surrounding me. Dekho kitna satellite hai. So that is called satellitism. 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 Satellitism is seen in which one? Oh, before that. And look at this one. Thumbprint. In an X-ray, me you see a thumbprint. That is what? Thumbprint is basically. Thumbprint appearance in exit thumbprint, but that is that is in the uh, epiglottitis, na? epiglottitis. So which one is the which is the organism causing this? That is your H influenza. H influenza. I told you H influenza. Phil, 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 na? Phil ke paas hai satellite. Phil ke paas hai satellite. Ek Bruce Lee ke paas bhi satellite sat hota hai. But ye mara Phil influenza. Phil influenza. Phil ke paas bhi satellite. Satellite is important question frequently asked, na? Human factor, they like X and uh, 10 factor or not. That is theory. I'm not going to talk here. We are talking only about the picture, picture here. Rapid revision. Look at this picture. Uh, so uh, they might give this ulcer was in beefy ulcer, beefy ulcer, not painful, beefy ulcer, but not painful, and uh, not painful. And on image, there was a safety pin appearance, safety pin. So, essay wala question aage to safety pin appearance. So, this is what kisi ko beef jada pasand hai? Safety pin and safety pin. So, kisi ka beef kane ka pasan jada tha? Donor ka, donor, Mr. Donor, na? Dono vanosis, donor STD, donor vanosis, another STD, donor vanosis. Mr. Donor, na, uska kya pasan tha? Uska, uska beef sa kane ka pasan tha. Okay, so donor, remember like that. Okay, donor, donor vanosis. Okay, South Indian fellow. So, and then what happened? Donor ka, so this is a beefy ulcer, okay, painless, you said. And important thing is safety pin appearance. Ila. So, costive agent is what? Klebsiella, pale it was called. Calamitobacterium granulomatis. Abhi it's called Klebsiella granulomatis. Klebsiella granulomatis. That's also a question. Granulomatis. So beef donor, donor ka causes by Klebsiella granulomatis. Okay, shortcuts have given the theory part. Okay, now this one. So this is very important. The first picture by seeing only you must be very happy. What is that one? What is that one? That is your fried egg. Fried egg means you already know. Fried egg means it's a, it is your EGG. Fried egg is basically your mycoplasma. Myco. Plasma, mycoplasma is the common. No, I don't no need to ask anything else. And one more thing important, I would say, you don't forget your Dyens phenomena. Dyens phenomena. Uh, sorry, Dyens method, which is mycoplasma. So, method, you know, method. Phenomena will be for Proteus. Okay, that's the Dyens stain, uh, the totally different one. That is the Dyens ka, uh, two strains, ka na, the uh, swarming motility, you're checking same or different stain. Ka. Dyens method is basically you're just staining with the methylene blue. That's it. Okay. Dyens method. Okay. Dyens method is in the mycoplasma. Plus, you know, it's a gliding motility. Never, you'll never ever forget because cholesterol, Diana ka, uh, skin may cholesterol, so gliding motility. And this thing, what a PPLO agent we call PPLO, agar PPLO agent. I'm not going to talk much about it. Okay. That's over. Now look at this one. This is blue color is basically oxidase test. Whenever there's oxidase test positive or culture media, you see the green color pigment, green pigmented comes. So this is your, my favorite. And my favorite, I would call it Ekta Kapoor one because colorful everything. And plus sweetie order, which you have a sweet order. Sweet fruity order, no? Sweetie fruity order, sweet fruity order. This all for your pseudomonas. Pseudomonas, pseudomonas originosa. Okay, pseudomonas originosa. This is also a question. Okay, you can get. And look, this is 
this is everyone's favorite. I know this is swarming motility. Swarming motility. And whenever you're talking about swarming motility, you know that there are three girls who go to tea party. You know, who is going to swimming? May they go for tea party? Who are the three girls? Prochita. One is Prochita, another one is Paru, bacteria Paru, and other one is the Sara. No, no, Sara. P Prochita because Proteus. You know, you know that in Proteus is the commonly asked question. So this is important. And other things also you have to remember parahemolyticus vibria, parahemolyticus para, hemolyticus para, hemolyticus. And yes, for Ceratia, also pigment producing organism, red color pigment, parahemolyticus. And T is Clostridium tetani. Titanic, okay, all are swarming motility. So, this question can be asked, but Proteus is most important, okay. So, this picture definitely expected question, expected question, okay, right. Now, next, look at this thing. We are now almost coming to the uh, close to end now. The uh, this picture, so what you see here, this is a when you see effervescent, that's a catalyst positive. Whenever catalyst positive, you think what step look at all the staff skippers are staff skippers, kya hota, cat hota. but look at this. This is a coagulase, this is a slide coagulase and tube coagulase, and a coagulase. Coagulase is ke pas hota hai? Coagulase is first. Coagulase is staff ke pas. Colon, achcha, expensive colon. The nursing staffs ke pas hota But aureus, especially aureus. Staff aureus ko coagulase positive. Okay, so it's a coagulase in catalysis. And this disease, is, you know, scalded cephalococcus scalded skin syndrome. SSSS. Anna? Cephalococcus scalded skin syndrome. This, the skin all gone. Okay, it's very toxic syndrome. Remember that. That can be asked also. You can come. Look at this colony. This is called, this is a beta hemolysis, but pin head colony. Pin head, that's what I'm saying. Always remember head stop. Head nursing staff ke pass hai, pin head. Means pin head is for Streptococcus aureus. Okay, because there's narrow zone of hemolysis colony bada hai. But in Streptococcus, pin point with wide zone of hemolysis. Okay, you I'll show the picture. Look at this. Now, this is the what aureus ka naam matlab golden pigment. So, golden pigment also Staphylococcus aureus. Golden pigment is Staph aureus. This is also mannitol can be asked. This is a mannitol salt agar. Mannitol salt agar. That is, this is just a nutrient agar. Nutrient agar. And this is a manitol salt agar. Manitol salt agar is specific for again SARS staff aureus. That's what you have what yellow color colonies. Okay. All you see here is yellow, here is all are yellow, yellow. Manitol salt agar. Okay. And this one, you know, it's grape like clusters. Grape kiska person, the staffs ka person. Okay. Grapes ka, grapes like cluster, grape like cluster, grape like cluster. So these all are uh, your classic uh, uh, for your Staphylococcus aureus picture. Any of this picture comes, you're not going to miss it. Okay. Yeah. Now, next one. This is your Streptococcus. Streptococcus, you know, most important thing is the classification that is a hemolysis. So, this is the this is the beta hemolysis and this is the alpha hemolysis and this is the gamma. Beta means complete hemolysis. And it looks like this, this is exactly beta hemolysis. This one. And yes, look there. You see a pinpoint. Pinpoint. Staphylococcus to staffs to always head me hota. Staffs are head. Okay. Ye pin hota pinpoint. Pin streptococcus matlab hai na. Strippers yaad kuro. Stripters ka points hota. Streptococcus. Streptococcus or strippers and a streptococcus. So you have this a beta hemolysis matlab pinpoint colony. One. This is a classic example. You come. Alpha means partial hemolysis hota hai. Partial hemolysis. Gamma means no hemolysis. Na? Partial hemolysis. You see greenish pigment over here. So beta ka examples are you know that is group. A and group is streptococcus. Group A ka dusra naam hai streptococcus pyogens. Hai na? Pi please should remember that pyogens. Okay. And B ka yoga streptococcus agalacti. 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 Okay. Got it? Yeah. Now alpha. For alpha, two things are important. One is streptococcus pneumonia or pneumococcus. Streptococcus pneumonia, alpha partial hemolysis. And the other one is streptococcus viridens group. Viridens group which is causing a lot of what your uh, 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 infective endocarditis, subacute infective endocarditis. Okay. And gamma may importance only the enterococcus. Enterococcus is the most important one. There are few, few important things that can be asked is just I'm briefing it. Don't want to drag you guys because you know, uh, you, you, I know you must be reading other things also. Uh, don't want to push you too much. For streptococcus pyogenes, two tests are important that you know already. Basitracin, yeah, both were achuka hai. Basitracin one, another one is PYR. Basitracin, basi ka pasa, pyogenes means pasa. Kiske pass with the basi, basi amara basi ka pass there. PY or the nome clue. PY, 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 see easily. Agalatia, always I tell you, Agalatia is group B. B means boys. Boys, eh? boys ka kya pass and the camping karna pass and there. Especially, why ka nam kya Islam. Islam media. Islam ba hai. Uska camping both pass and there. So, camp test positive and uska hippopotamus pass and the hipporate hydrolysis. Hipporate hydrolysis. Hippopotamus hipporate hydrolysis. Okay, this is the important question. That only. Okay, I'm not going to test. Pneumococcus, you know, very important test is the optochin. Optochin, I told you, remember as bio group. B I O. Yeah, no. Uh, bio group, I, I'll tell you why. Uh, optochin, inulin. Optochin. Uh, optochin. I'm sorry, I have to go and come again. Yeah. Okay. Ah, optochin. 
yes uh, this is o for uh, to change b for bile solubility b for bile solubility okay bile solubility very very important enterococcus ka same bile esculin bile esculin positive bile esculin positive these are the common tests you must must know you can't miss it okay so remember that now i have picture also now you can tell me okay now uh, you can tell this one yeah so this one look at this uh, look at this this is the this is a lanceolate shape the diplococcus lanceolate purple so it is gram positive gram positive Ha, huh? lanceolate, lanceolate diplococcus question agya to that is which one your streptococcus pneumonia. Don't forget, na they go. The shape is looking like this. Shape is looking like this, ana lanceolate. Usko bolte lanceolate. That is streptococcus pneumonia. Streptococcus pneumonia. Okay, this is the gram stain name. But on the culture, you're getting what carom coin. This is called carom carom coin colony or droughtman. D R A U G H E droughtman's colony okay carom coin or drought man's colony this will come then that is your this all is streptococcus pneumonia all streptococcus pneumonia this is the bile esculin i told you in a black color so bile esculin that is for your which one your enterococcus bile esculin is for your enterococcus enterococcus that's it okay this is another question you should know that's it so these are the things we all completed guys so uh, doctors all the best once again okay these are the things you must know that's what i revised it I, I don't want anybody missing this thing because it's very easy simple question that you will you know make mistake and lose the mark so all the best once again do well god bless you i'm hoping for good results thank you